Today, I'm going to be unboxing the 14 inch MacBook Pro. It's gonna be awesome. So first, we're gonna do an unboxing. Second, we're gonna do a mini review. And third, I'm going to show you a comparison, a little comparison. Tiny, mini. So yeah, make sure you stick around for that. And uh, yeah, here's the unboxing. To use English as the main language, press the return key. Mac OS contains Thanks for watching that unboxing video. Wasn't it great? It was fantastic. It was the best unboxing video. So the 14 inch, how is it? It's way better than my MacBook. This MacBook, which is the M1 MacBook Pro, uh, it's really good. It's got the touch bar and all that stuff. And I really like the design of that, but I really like the design of the 14 inch way more. It's got the ports. It's got a great display. So the display on the 14 inch is a 120 Hertz ProMotion display, which is pretty cool, but I don't really notice the difference between 60 and 120. I'll show you a comparison right now with the Apple Pencil that was from a different video, 60 Hertz versus 120 on Apple Pencil. That was a cool video. Go check that out if you haven't watched that already. It was kind of an older video, so it's kind of not as good. And also it has mini LED, which is great for blacks and stuff so it's like sort of like an oled except not every pixel is individually lit so you'll have some blooming i haven't really noticed it too much and there is a notch but i don't really care because that just extends the screen could have been way smaller but i'm thinking that they're gonna be implementing face id at some point also another thing is that the 14 inch supports more than one display Whereas the M1 only supports one. So let's talk about the coolings. It's fantastic. I ran it for a long time in a test that you'll be seeing the results of later. But after like so long, I like put my ear like right up against it and I could barely hear fan. Also from my experience in gaming on these two machines, the 14 inch and the 13 inch, 14 inch is way better. I tested ocean horn and I tested probably something else. I don't remember actually at this point. I didn't record it, but it was running a lot smoother on the 14 inch 
rather than 13 inch. I think the 14 inch was running at 60 FPS and I think this one was running sometimes maybe 40 FPS, but dropping a lot, like it has a lot of lag spikes. One of the things I really wanted from the 14 inch was being able to play games in full screen, like being able to have it go around the notch and stuff like that and take up the whole thing, but it doesn't do that. I don't know if any game goes into completely full screen. I would like it to do that, but I don't know. I just like, just take up the whole screen. Why not? Now on to the comparison. Uh, I've only tested the 14 inch so far. I'm predicting that the M1 Pro or the 14 inch MacBook Pro is going to do the best and the 13 inch is going to do the worst and the iMac is gonna be in the middle, but not too much better than the M1. Now I'm comparing the 13 inch, 14 inch and the iMac, not the M1 my iMac, the Intel iMac. I'll how the specs and stuff in the description. First off, we're doing an export comparison between the different devices on the Slime Rancher video, Slime Rancher 2 number 3. I'm gonna check that out, link in the description. It didn't take too long to export, so that's pretty good. It's 1080p video, by the way. Now moving on to a 4K video, which is between the different devices on the iPhone 14 Pro unboxing. If you wanna see that, then links will be on the top right or left or whatever it is. Okay, so the M1 Pro did it in two minutes and 37 seconds. Pretty fast for a 4K 24 FPS video. All right, so next up, we're gonna be doing the two hour long train driver video. Now, if you don't know what this is, it's from my trains channel, Hayden Trains. If you wanna check that out, links in the description. And also maybe on the top, right so the two hour long train driver two video it's exactly two hours actually it's two hours and one second so not exactly two hours i guess and it's 1080p and it took a long time to export but actually not as long as i was thinking because it took uh let me see it took 39 minutes and 43 seconds like wow i mean it, it took less time than if i were to just watch the video which is great this is a long term test to see how well the cooling does so i'm guessing this one is going to be M1 Pro, of course, and then the M1, and then the iMac is going to be down here, maybe, down a little bit. It's gonna be last. I Why I think that is because the iMac cooling sucks. So yeah, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications, and also like this video. Check out this video if you wanted to see that video from earlier, the Slime Rancher 2 number three. Bye.